Hello, this is the hints video for filling out the Venn diagram comparing plants and animal cells. So I've made a PowerPoint to go through these differences. So let's get started on that. So compare plant and animal cells. Hints for Venn diagram activity, compare plant and animal cells. So first off, uh, the shape of the cells is different. So uh, plant cells over here on the left, and they are more uh, blocky shape and animal shells are kind of blobby shape. So that is one difference you can say that plant cells are block shape in general and animal cells can have different shapes. They tend to be blobby, they can be circular or they can be like this or they can be uh, uh, any kind of folded shape in between. And the main reason for that is that uh, plant cells have a cell wall and a cell membrane. That cell wall gives structure to the cells so that look more like a block, like a brick. And animal cells only have a cell membrane, and so that is much more uh, less rigid or much less rigid, and so that it does not hold its shape well. So underneath blob shape, you need a function. So the f what you can do is to say blob shape because it only has a cell membrane on your Venn diagram. And underneath block shape on your Venn diagram, you can write because it has a cell wall, all right, which adds structure to it. Moving on, color of plant cells. So which is a plant cell? And you should already know that the plant cell hopefully is the green one and the animal cell is the non-green one. So animal cells can be uh, pink or, or uh, pinkish, but in this case, this one is stained purple, so that's why it's purple, although I'm sure there are some purple animal cells. Um, so they tend to be greenish plant cells, and the reason for that is because they have chloroplasts. So the second thing you might want to put on your Venn diagram from plants is chloroplasts. You might remember that chloroplasts have a function in photosynthesis. They actually absorb the sunlight. And these little green things right here are the chloroplasts in a cell. And hopefully you'll be doing a lab where you can look at these chloroplasts in real life. All right, and, plant and animal cells do not have these. So that's another major difference. Um, structures in a plant cell. So plant cells have um, the chloroplasts and they have a big central vacuole. Now the central vacuole you cannot really see. Um, you can see by where everything else is. It's full of water and water is clear so you can't see it but you can see that these organelles are being pushed together. So these chloroplasts are pushed together. That's because the central vacuole is probably going around the outside or it's being right here and it's full of water so it's pushing all of the other organelles into a spot like this. So the vacuole, big central water vacuole, can kind of fill up and push the chloroplasts in little clumps like that. All right, so plant cells have a large central vacuole. Um, and animal cells have a vacuole also. So here's vacuole and vacuole. Animal cells have them also, but theirs are small. So maybe the second difference is uh, that Plant cells have a large central vacuole. Animal cells only have a small central vacuole. And finally, we get down to uh, what do they have in common? So right now, you probably have at least two things for your animal cell. Uh, that's a blobbish, and it has small central vacuoles. They also have something called centrioles, and centrioles are used in um, mitosis. They actually are the spot where spindle fibers will come out and grab hold of the DNA, you might remember, and they help pull that DNA apart during um, anaphase. And plant cells do not have centrioles. All right, so there's at least three things that um, animal cells have. In plant cells, again, they have chloroplasts, they have a cell wall, they have a large central water vacuole, and they both have a nucleus, and they both have mitochondria, which are the energy uh, releasers for uh, sugar or energy producers. They both have um, ribosomes, although it says only this, but ribosomes are also over here in the animal cells. They're on the ER and they're scattered around and they make proteins. Um, they both have uh, lysosomes. Lysosomes uh, in plant cells, um, they have a special kind of lysosomes called, it's called a lytic lysosome and they break down cells 
and in the animal cells they have uh, lysosomes also and if you look at this plants may have lytic vacuoles which help which act like lysosomes uh, they both have Golgi apparatus which help package things and move things around the cell and endoplasmic reticulum which also it processes proteins and move things around the cell all right well that concludes this uh, Hints video on the Venn diagram. If you have any further questions, please see your science teacher.